what I use in the mornings quick. So I just have a comb, at least have a wide tooth comb, something um, half and half like this or full wide. And then one of these more puffy scrunchies. Um, if you have darker hair, get a darker color. If you have lighter hair, get a lighter color. And I like to do the big size because it helps. If you have less hair, this can help give you a little bit more bulk. Then we have normal size bobby pins. If you have dark hair, get dark. And then we have these, which are roller pins technically, I'm pretty sure. So these I got at the hair supply store. So I think if you probably search on Amazon or something, you'll be able to find them. Um, they're a little bit bigger than a bobby pin. So if you have thick hair, I would suggest to do that. And then I just like to spray some Which I Love Your Hair Magic Mist in my hair before I do it, just so that any little frizz and things like that can be smoothed. So yeah. So today I'm going to be showing you how I do my quick uh, top knot bun. You guys requested that I do a quick tutorial video on this. So this is my hair. I didn't refresh it or anything today. Um, I was too lazy. So I'm going to start off by just spraying some much over your hair. I'm going to take my scrunchie and I'm gathering all of my hair. You can even tilt your head back. So I'm just using my fingers to go in and I want the bun to rest high up on my head so I'm going to place it pretty high up here. So if you have curly hair already um, this is going to be a quicker style for you to just do instead of refreshing. Um, if you don't have curly hair and you have straight hair I would suggest putting your hair in a ponytail like this once you get it at this spot kind of high up taking a curling wand and just wanding the ends just so it has some texture to it, some curl. So at this point you can spray more if you want to help with any frizz. You get some, I like to have some pieces out near my face a little and kind of, you can kind of pinch and tug a little bit or run your fingers and kind of pull up if you like a little bit more messy. Now the ends, if I tried to wrap these, it would kind of split a little bit more than I want. So I'm going to take all my hair, put the wide teeth in to my hair and very just gently push up. So this is, you're going to back comb the ends a little bit. So you're just back combing the ends together. So you're just gently doing it, it's just going to make the ends kind of stick together a little bit more. Some pieces don't want to cooperate. So now I have this big fluff of a ponytail. So I'm going to start turning it, so I'm turning it towards this wall. And you know what, I'm going to bring it to the front. So you're just going to start placing the bun around your head. So it's going to start shaping like this. So once I find a spot that it kind of ends, I'm going to tuck the ends of the ponytail under this part here. So now I kind of just hold the bun in place and kind of feel in the back and kind of shape it. So um, you can take these if you want. These I just use these because I usually only use two of them. So I'm just going to insert it here and then kind of point it down to go under that scrunchie and then push it towards that side. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hold the bun, point it down so that you can feel it on your scalp and then put it that way. So I have very thin hair. Um, so two usually does it for me. I'll kind of shake my head. I can see these are a little loose. I'm going to put a mini bobby pin in the front and once I um, am done I typically look in the back because sometimes it splits. I don't have a mirror to check behind me. That would have been a good idea. 
I think it's a little um, open on this side. So if so, you can kind of just pull and tug. You want the bun a little bigger. When I'm not explaining it, this takes me like no dime. Um, like I said, I like, I like a little bit of hair around my face. Or you can leave, if you have shorter pieces out, you can leave some pieces out. So this is the finished style, the finished top knot. If there's a spot that you can see the scrunchie, you'll see it when you look in the mirror. So you'll just take another bobby pin and move them around and pin it to hide it. So yeah, very quick, easy, um, if you don't feel like refreshing and it's hot out a lot. So this might um, be... A little bit more difficult if you have really thick hair and like I said I would definitely use the larger roller pins but yeah other than that I hope you guys like this let me know if you try it out and if you have any questions just leave me a comment thanks bye